Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Before I start, can I just say I am so sorry for the lighting situ in this video, but if you can see, I'm literally sat between two windows. The sun is just blaring into the house. There is nowhere for me to sit in this house where the lighting is not like this. So I apologise about that. I've tried to make the best of a bad situation, so sorry. Not my usual setup, but we move. I thought I'd film, as you probably guessed by the title, an autumn haul. I realise I've actually got quite a lot of like new autumn bits. I've just not actually sat and shown you any of them. I think what I usually do is I usually wait until I just upload like a one brand haul video and I thought why am I doing that because I've got you know loads of lovely like autumn things that you might like as well. So I thought I'll just compile them all into one video, show you what's new, some of the stuff you've probably already seen over on my Instagram if you do follow me on there. If not, I'll leave a link in the description box. Please come and give me a follow, that would mean the world. But anyway, I'm going to show you what's new in my autumn winter wardrobe, so I hope you enjoy. So I'm just going to start off with some shoes. These are from Ego. Can you see how gorgeous they are? They're in like this beautiful brown colour. I really struggle with like finding brown boots because I find if you buy them in like the wrong shade, brown, like especially like a faux leather or brown leather, is something that can look really, really cheap if you're not careful. But I think these look really expensive, really nice. They're from, did I say they were from Ego? I can't remember, they're from Ego. They actually really match my tracksuit. Mmm, that could be an outfit. They actually really match this tracksuit. Um, I'll link where what I'm wearing as well in the description box. Um, and this is from a brand called Yesterday's Dreamers. I might have made that up. Yesterday's Dreamers? Yeah, I think it's from them. Really good tracksuit, by the way. It's just as good as like Zara's quality. But yeah, I just love these. I thought these were unreal. I can't wait to style them. There's so many different ways I want to wear these boots. So yeah, these are my boots. I'm going to try and not get into a massive mess while I'm filming this because I'm just kind of moving everything over to this side as I show it you. Next up, where should we go? I'm going to show you this jacket that I bought from Miss Guided. If you watch my vlogs, you will have already seen this anyway, so I won't show it you for too long, but it is this brown checked jacket. I'll show it you like that. I just really, really love like the colours in it. It's got all different like shades of brown. It's got a tiny, is it black? Yeah, it is black or very, very dark brown, I think. Um, but I just thought it was really, really nice. I love checked like shackets anyway. I love shackets full stop, but I haven't seen one like this in these lovely colours. As you can tell, I'm really enjoying the colour brown recently. At the moment, I'm literally just obsessed with brown and khaki. But yeah, I just thought this was amazing. I got this in a size 10. I think it is described as like oversized on the website, but I went for a 10 anyway because I really want to like wrap this um, like with a belt and wear it as more of like a dress, like a wintry dress with, with these brown boots. That is a look. Can't wait to wear that. So next up is this grey knitted vest. I wasn't the quickest at jumping on like this knitted vest trend. To be honest, I didn't actually know if I liked it. I didn't know if it was very me. And to be honest, and the ones that I saw that were available, I wasn't in love with all of them. There was a couple on H&M that I saw, but when it came like to the time of me buying them, they'd sold out in my size. So I kind of just let it lie. So I got this one from a brand called Storettes. And when I saw this, I thought, oh my God, yes, that is the one. That is the exact kind of vest that I've been looking for. And I do really, really love it. I've worn it on my Instagram already over like a shirt dress. I love how these look, how, and also you don't even have to wear these with a shirt. You can wear these over like some leather leggings or some boots. I really like how they look like that. And I'm really glad I bought it now. I did stay true to size, I believe, did I? Yeah, I got this in a small to medium. It was described as oversized. So yeah, I would stay true to size if you are going to get um, this vest from there. Right, while we're just on knitted vests, I'm just going to show you my other one. This is from the same brand um, as this tracksuit, Yesterday's Dreamers. I think they're called that. I'm going to link everything in the description box anyway, but yeah, I'm sorry if I haven't got that name right. I think that's what they're called. Um, and it's basically very, very similar to the grey, but in cream. Love the colour of this. It's like, it's a very, very, very pale cream, almost white. Looks a lot more expensive than what it was. Um, and really does remind me of the H&M one that I really tried to get a hold of, but it just kept selling out. I don't know if anyone else has found this, but like every time I go on H&M right now, Everything just goes instantly. Like, you have to move so quick on there. It's ridiculous. But, yeah, I just saw this on this yesterday's Dreamers website. And I thought, do you know what? That will do the job. And I really like it. Again, I have wore this on Instagram. I'm so quick when it comes to getting a picture of something, by the way. If something is new in in my wardrobe, I'll have a picture of it the next day. Like, I don't sit on it 
I really like to make my outfits really quickly. And then, right, I told you there's going to be a lot of brown and a lot of khaki in this haul. So I'm just going to show you my new favourite jumper. This big, chunky, khaki roll neck jumper. It's the, the kind of shade of this khaki is almost brown. It's really, really dark. And it's like my favourite kind of shade of khaki. Um, this jumper, I've actually got another one. It's from Miss Pat, by the way. I've also got it in cream. So just to show you this as well, the exact same jumper. Um, both of them I got in a size. Don't know, doesn't sound the label. Oh no, I don't know what size I got it in. I'll put it in the description box, don't worry. But it hasn't got the size in the label. I know I would have oversized 100%. Um, you know what, actually no, I'm pretty sure I got this in a small or a small slash medium. Um, because I remember them being quite oversized. They bring these out, I know they bought these out maybe a year ago or two years ago. Um, but they just added more colours to them this year. And I think I had this in like a grey colour. And I lived in it. So when I saw they did it in this gorgeous khaki colour, I had to get it. Um, I just love it. It's such a flattering, like, chunky knit. Looks way more expensive than it actually is. I love the roll neck. I love how the roll neck sits. It doesn't sit, like, up like that. Do you know what I mean? You can feel like you're in a bit of a straight jacket. It actually kind of flops over, if that makes sense. So it's a bit... It sits quite nice around your neck. Uh, but, yeah, I really love that in khaki. As I said, I have it in cream as well. Um, I know I've posted this on my story already. A lot of you really loved the cream jumper. Um, so I got it in khaki as well. I'm so glad I did. I know I'm going to get so much wear out of this. I just think this, with like a blazer over the top, some leggings, some chunky boots, just like the most perfect autumn winter outfit. Right, sticking on the theme of like khaki and green, my new favourite colour apparently, I need to show you this coat that I also got from this pap. I mean, it is this gorgeous like vinyl, um, like faux leather trench. I just thought this was so like striking and eye catching. I just love it. I think the colour of the green is amazing. I think this is like an all green outfit. It would just look unreal. Like maybe with a khaki jumper um, or like a dress or like a khaki jumper dress with some boots. I think that would look unreal. Um, I just thought it was a bit different. Like I know a lot of people are buying like the leather or like the vinyl. Um, trenches right now but when I saw this green version I thought you know what that is just so so nice like for this time of year I was quite obsessed with it one thing I would say if you are gonna um buy this this is from Miss Pap again they're really like killing it by the way with their um like autumn winter stuff I will say there's a lot of really really nice things on there um but one thing I would say is I would 100% size up if you were gonna get the coat I believe this is a size 12 and um, I'm usually an 8. I'd probably even size up again to like a 14 to be honest. So yeah, don't stay true to size with this or else it will not fit the way it fits me in like the try on clips. You have to size up in this. So that is an absolute must. Please size up if you do decide to get the trench. Okay, I'm going to move on and just show you like a couple of accessories. I'm not going to spend long on these because they are what they are. But people seem to really love these on Instagram. So I'll just show you them. They're my two latest caps that I really, really love. I've got my khaki, obviously, new era cap, which I honestly, I just live in. I think they're so, I just think they really, they just add a little something to an outfit. Do you know what I mean? And really good when you haven't washed your hair and it's hair wash day and you just can't be arsed really. And you can't, you, you look like you made an effort because you look like you've done your hair, but nobody can see your greasy roots. So I'm all for like wearing a cap i feel like caps have just kind of come back in i don't know what it is i was never that bothered about them before but this year i've just been like obsessed with them i've got another one there behind me a black new era one i'd say this khaki one is my fave i just think adds a little bit of something to an outfit and then also i've got this one which is like um it's almost like a kind of borg or like you know like a teddy coat it's that but it's little hat baby. That is what it is. It just feels so autumn wintery. And again, it just adds that little bit of like wintery feeling to an outfit. So yeah, I'm all for the cap trend. I'm loving caps at the minute. So I just thought I'd quickly show you my two latest ones. And now my hair, I'm gonna have like hat hair now throughout the rest of this video, but we move on. 
Next up, I'm going to show you some more boots that I got. Again, these are from Ego, same place as the first ones, like the brown ones. And if you are a fan of like the big, chunky, like Prada boots, then you'll love these. If you hate chunky boots, then just skip past this part because you're probably going to hate it. They are some big, black, chunky, almost like army style kind of boots. Uh, and they do have the pouches on the side, very much like the Prada dupes. Got the buckle detail on the inside, really chunky sole. You can also take these pouches off. So if you do like the boots, but pouches just aren't your thing, then you can detach these as well. But I just love these. I think wearing these with like a blazer, like nipped in at the waist with a belt, some tights. I mean, chunky boots are a huge trend right now. They were last year as well. So if you do like them, I think this is a really, really good pair to get your hands on. If you don't, sorry, I don't know what to tell you. I'll just put my boots over there. Next up, and right, I told you Miss Pap, we're really, really killing it this year. I've had to show you this. It is this little teddy jacket. Now I love a teddy coat, no secret. If you go on my Instagram, I have teddy coats everywhere. I love them, but this is more of a jacket. So it's not long, it's short. And I just think this is so, so nice. It's got like the two, like almost pocket detail at the front. And it just looks so nice. I love the color of it. It's like a creamy beige color. As I said, Miss Pap are just absolutely killing it. Um, I would size up if you're gonna get this. I got this in a size large. So if you do want it to fit the way it does on me, I do think you need to get a large in this. I just think oversize on everything, everything. When it, this time of year, when it comes to jackets, coats, you just can't go wrong with oversizing, do you know what I mean? Like, you want to put your hoodies underneath, your chunky jumpers, just oversize. It's going to be better for everyone that way. I mean, I've probably got my really, like, petite girls watching this that are, like, five foot one, that are probably screaming at me, like, no, I can't oversize. But for me, I'm 5'8", so I like things to look a bit oversized. I'm really sorry if I've gone orange. As I said, this light is just, it's not a vibe today. But yeah, like this jacket, I know I'm just gonna get, I've already wore it a few times and I really, really love it. I just know it's something that I'm gonna get so much use out of. So yeah, I, I'm, as I said, I'm, this obsession with teddy coats needs to calm down. I can't help it. Every time I see a new teddy coat, uh, I just hear it calling my name and this one is just no different. Okay, next up again from Miss Pap is some black leggings. They are ribbed, but I don't know if you're going to be able to see on here. You probably just have to look on the try on clip, but they've got like a split down the middle like that. And I know split leggings are like everywhere at the minute. And I saw a pair like this very, very, very similar from Zara. Um, and then I saw this on their website and I thought, do you know what? I'll give it a go. And do you know what? They're so, so good. One thing I will say, if you are on the shorter side, don't bother because these are very, 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 very long. You need to be at least five foot seven, five foot eight to wear these. If you are any shorter than that, trust me, you're not going to get away with them. They're extremely high waisted, like I mean high waisted. You can tuck everything into these and they are very, very long. So for my short girls out there, I'm sorry, I would just give these a miss. However, if you're on the taller side and you struggle finding long leggings, then these are for you. These are like all my dreams and prayers answered in one when it comes to a legging because I find it really hard to find them that don't cut me off like at the calf. So yeah, I really like these. As I said, they look just like the Zara ones, but if you are a tall girl, I'd opt for these. This is like super snuggly, super warm. It's my big black teddy coat from Miss Pap. It's long, it's big. I did oversize this and I got a size 12. I think that's just the best way to go when it comes to teddy coats. I had to include it because as I said, I put it on my Instagram, so many of you really, really liked it. It is still in stock, hence why I've included it in the video so that I can link it for you. But yeah, I thought autumn, winter haul, let's just end it on a really nice snuggly coat. Teddy coats haven't gone anywhere this year. They were huge last year. It's the same again this year, to be honest. Um, and I'm not mad about it because I just bloody love a teddy coat, let's be honest. I really, really love them. But yeah, this is my latest one. So, thought I'd show it you. Right, I think I've actually made it all the way through. I think we're finished. So, very sorry about the lighting situ. However, I really hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you like seeing 
my new little autumn winter bits let me know if there's anything you like anything you've got your eye on and then yeah as always i will see you in the next one bye